Good morning. Rise and shine, my lady. I know you can hear me, you know. I've brought you breakfast. It's your favorite. And some tea to wake you up. <sighs> Don't try to escape your busy schedule, my lady. I know you've been working late, but that doesn't mean you can ignore your engagements today. Duchess Navier is visiting this afternoon, remember? You certainly don't want to keep her waiting, do you? Don't make me yank the covers. Oh. Hmm. You're awake, I see. Good morning, my lady. I have served you since we were both children. Don't think that I'm not used to your antics. Also, we were both trained in the art of combat. Catching a throne pillow is of no difficulty to me. If that had to hit the wall or the floor, a maid would have to scrub it again. Well, would you have preferred it if the head maid woke you instead? We are both much older now, so perhaps it's become uncomfortable. For me to wake you. You prefer me. I suppose it's because I've served you for so long. You are more comfortable with me then. Hmm? Now. Drink some tea and have a bite. The chef worked hard on this, you know. I wasn't the only one who saw you burning the midnight oil. Here you are. Some green tea to help you get energized. <clears throat> now then, as per your schedule, most of your morning is free. You have a meeting with Duchess Navier for lunch at 12. And then your combat instructor will be coming by to help you brush up on your techniques by 3. The tailors are to come by again to show you their new catalogs at 5. Which gives you enough time to wash up before... My lady, you aren't listening. <sighs> Not feeling up to it today. Oh, you're right. You have been up to the gills in work as of late. The prosecution trial against House Ursa had just ended, did it not? They were proclaimed guilty, at least. But in the end, you were still left with all of the paperwork. You spent all night finishing it. Of course I had to stay up with you. I'm not just the head butler, you know. I'm your faithful servant. Hmm. Do you think that you could at least try to meet with Duchess Navier? She's not only an extremely important figure in high society, you know. She's your friend. And I'm certain that she's worried about you. Of course I'm worried about you, my lady. Goodness knows how hard you've been working these past few days. Finding out that House Ursa was responsible for all those demon attacks across the kingdom would have been a Herculean task for anyone if there were anyone who could do it, I knew that it could be you. My compliments are no mere flattery, my lady. They are as genuine as they come. I'm happy that you took me in all those years ago. I can think of no better master. <laughs> I talk as if I'm going to leave. Seeing as you're awake enough to tell jokes, I seem to have lightened your spirits a little. Why are you getting worried about that all of a sudden? Did you just call me oblivious? I assure you, my lady, 
I am always aware of the affairs in this household. In fact, I can tell you several pieces of gossip I overheard from the maids right now. For example, have you ever heard of the rumor that the first prince is sneaking out of the palace to meet with a commoner? It's quite a big piece of news, but there's no real substance to the rumor. Oh, not what you meant. Hmm. Oh dear, did I miss something on your breakfast plate? Or was it last night's late night snack, perhaps? I deeply apologize, my lady. It isn't like me to slip up when it comes to things like this. My, my lady, come closer. What is it? Did you suddenly think of something you need me to investigate? Ah, very well. What do you... My lady, did you? Did you just... You kissed me on my cheek. I'm still dreaming, aren't I? I'm probably oversleeping right now, huh? I... I should probably wake up. Thank you for the dream dream fairy, but my fantasies cannot become reality. Huh. Uh, hey, ow. Uh, my lady, did you just pinch me? Did you convince me that was real? I'm, I'm sorry, my lady, but do I have feelings for you? I am sorry, my lady, this lowly servant who you so graciously saved from the streets all those years ago has dared to develop romantic feelings for you. If you wish, I shall resign from my position immediately. My lady, I wouldn't dare to lift my head. I have committed a grave sin against you. Why do I think you kissed me? Perhaps it was to grant me one wish before you fire me. My, my lady, you shouldn't be crouching next to me. I'm just... Why are you putting your hands on my cheeks like this? Listen to you closely. My lady, if this, if this gets out, do you know what would happen to your reputation? <laughs> no, you've never really cared about the social scene, but I'm worried about you, my lady. Even if you love me as well, you'd have to sacrifice too much if we were to be together. I can't ask you to do that, my lady. You are so very precious to me. I can't allow you to throw away everything that you've built with your own two hands. You have a solution. Me? Get adopted by a noble family? But my lady, that would mean I would need to leave your side. Oh, I see. Work hard, live free, and when I'm ready, I will come back to you. Yes, my lady. You went through all the trouble to think of this for me. Of course, I will return to you. My savior. My everything. But for now, I am still your loyal servant. So come on, you still have your lunch with Duchess Navier.
Oh, damn. You know what? I'm going to keep that in. Thank you for listening. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Or else. Shout out to the patrons as always, and I will see you in the next...